And welcome, friends of the Risen King, to Good Catholic News, presented by Avoiding Babylon. I am your humblest of hosts, Enoch, everyone's favorite mediocre Catholic rapper. And we're here to give you, that's right, you guessed it, some good Catholic news. You see, when Anthony and Rob started Avoiding Babylon, they wanted to give the Catholic world a sense of community. Here, we're giving y'all the good news, the good Catholic news. And this is why Avoiding Babylon is the cure to all despair. So without further ado, some good Catholic news. We go unite to cleanse. Y'all got no chance to stay no bad. We go unite to cleanse. Y'all got no chance to stay no bad. And our first story of the night, chalk one up to the Sacrament of Matrimony because our very good friend Joe Enders of the Red Top Report just got married. Congratulations to Mr. and Mrs. Enders. And Joe, remember, like the wine at the wedding of Cana, sacramental marriage only gets better as it ages. And if I may quote the great Luca Brazzi, may your first child be a masculine child. And take notes, Brick. If Joe can get married, so can you. And speaking of Brick, Brian recently just came out of a major surgery and we pray for your fast, speedy recovery. In other news, Instagram influencer, former soccer player, and Bieber fanatic, Meg Wells, along with her husband, are expecting their third baby. We pray for the Wells family. And for more good Catholic news around the world, Amanda Stickney and her husband are celebrating their anniversary somewhere in the mountains. Majimony is a hill we all want to die on. Nothing warms the heart more than a good conversion story. So meet Patrick, the lucky kid. Patrick, a former militant atheist and Marxist, during his years of teenager, would look down upon those who believed in God. And this led Patrick down to a life of drugs and alcohol and despair. And it wasn't until last November at a musical festival, Patrick experienced what he calls an existential crisis. And the only people that he knew in his life that had joy were the Christians. This caused Patrick to go down a rabbit hole. Which church should he join? You have over 40,000 denominations in the Protestant world. You have the Orthodox Church. You have the Catholic Church. You have the Eastern Catholic Church. And being the wise man that he is, he Googled the oldest and the first church established by Jesus Christ. And he got the correct answer, the Catholic Church. And moved by grace, Patrick joined RCIA as local parish. But it doesn't stop there. He ran into a parishioner who attends the FSSP and was invited to his first TLM. But Patrick fell in love. He completed his RCIA at a Novus Ordo parish, but attended every Sunday at the FSSP. Patrick and his wife were received to the church only a few months back, and now he's part of a confraternity that pray for the souls of purgatory. Patrick, welcome home. And friends, if you're ever wondering if God is still working in the world, look no further than this. The Eucharistic procession along the streets of New York with over 5,000 people. Incredible. And our last story of the night involves someone who struggled with same-sex attraction. Meet Nancy Charles, former Protestant who was just welcomed to the Catholic Church. Nancy, check out this video. Um, everybody, um, Nancy Charles, listen, Nancy Charles, my friend Josh's sister, just became Catholic today, came into the church. And I want everybody to say welcome, Nancy, to the Catholic Church. And we're... We've been praying for you for a very long time, Nancy. Welcome to the Catholic Church. Congratulations, Nancy. Nancy, my name's Father Dave. Next, we've been offering two masses for you. Me and all my friends here, we are so happy to have you in the Catholic Church. Welcome to your new home. Thank you. See you guys soon. And that video was taken last month, where Father Dave Nix, along with seven bozos, were at a retreat in Pennsylvania. An ungodly amount of meat was consumed and fun was had by all. Friends, thank you for watching this episode of Good Catholic News. Remember to subscribe, share, and like, and help Avoiding Babylon grow. May God bless you all, pray hope, and don't worry. We gon' unite to cleanse. Y'all got no chance to stay no bad. We gon' unite to cleanse. Y'all got no chance to stay no bad. Friends, we need your help. And no, I'm not asking for money. I'm asking for your good news. If you have any good news you want to share, please email holy40project at gmail.com and we will add it to our upcoming episodes. God bless.